hello everyone from Philippines, the country which is totally consists from islands. Travelers from all over the world come in here to see the stunning nature of the country, the beautiful beaches, the breathtaking coral reefs, majestic mountains and wonderful waterfalls. Tourists come to Philippines to see country's wonderful nature with their own eyes, and most beaches and waterfalls here are tourist destination. But some places here still untouched by tourists, and only locals know the way to such places. There is a huge and famous waterfall here near Dumaguete city, called Casaroro. The way to this waterfall is one of a tourist destination of Dumaguete city. There is a cafe there at the starting point, tourist guides on duty there, and the way to the falls made by cement stairs. But not everyone knows that there is another waterfall there near, which is almost the same size, and way to it hidden in the jungle from the tourists. It is almost have the same name, Old Casaroro or Original Casaroro. My friend agreed to show me the way to this waterfall. She met me in the city and bring me with her motorbike to the mountains. The path begins high in the mountains of the town of Valencia, right in the yard of someone's house. That's why it's absolutely unmarkable and only some local people know about it. You always bring people here? Not bring people. I, I, I brought some people here, but... Usually, I come here by myself. Look, berries! Where? Should I go first? After you. And you will suck the poison? <laughs> no. But I will. Alaska, Alaska, we have to suck the poison. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay with that? Yes, sure. <laughs> he, he looks so pretty. <laughs> Why it's called Old Casaroro? I don't know. It's, it, they, they call it the original Casaroro. So before it was only one? Yeah, before they discovered that other one. Oh, it was like recently? Um, not recently, but a long time ago. And it was tourist place, the first one? This one? Yeah. No, yeah, this is not listed as their, this one one, their tourist spot. This one we're going now, not listed in the tourist no. spots? They didn't put it as their tourist. Because it's dangerous or what? No, like it's not um, registered. That's why they don't require a guide here. Someone died there. Yeah, I know. How did you know? I heard the story. Okay. It was a few years ago. The road to waterfall took us about 30 minutes. First, we have to overcome the descent through the jungle along so-called steps to the river. The steps are made of rice bags filled with earth. My new friend told me that the road to this waterfall was closed for tourists, because some time ago there was an accident on it and someone died. Along the way there is a several forks in the road. But my companion knew the road perfectly well. This wasn't her first time here. Despite the fact that I have been living in the Philippines for 5 years already, hiking in the mountains still making a strong impression on me, just like the first time. The nature of the Philippines is truly beautiful. That's the fall. Okay. It is the way? Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. Hello. Hello. Stop. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, we go.
You can work as a tourist guy. <laughs> right. I'm gonna work as a tourist guy soon. Really? I'm just joking. Having reached the river, we had to walk upstream for some time, sometimes crossing the river on bamboo bridges, so as not to leave the path. And the mighty jungle around remind us of how insignificant man is compared to nature. Upstairs? Yep. After some time we came to the waterfall. The original Casaroro waterfall is hidden in a dark crevice, and through the thick canopy of the jungle very little sunlight penetrates from above. Why this waterfall called the original Casaroro when there is another waterfall close by with the almost exactly the same name? Well, according to legend, the one who was tasked with naming the waterfalls got drunk on a beer and got them mixed up and so it turned out that one is called Casaroro and the other one is called original Casaroro. Here I swam in a cold water. We also explored the cave which is located right at the base of the waterfall. I quickly retreat from the cave because there is a big snake there. So pity that the lack of any light in the cave did not allow me to capture the snake on camera. However, after a few days I returned to this cave again with a flashlight. But the snake father was not home at this moment, and the passage was guarded only by the snake son. The majesty of the waterfall and the sound of the falling water pacified the mind and gave peace but we had to return slowly. We were not hurried to go back, and along the way we did not miss the opportunity to explore other paths and nooks of this mountain river. We really didn't want to part with the magical nature of these places. What seemed interesting to me is the fact that in the mountain river I was able to capture on camera fish in natural conditions, which we are usually used to seeing in the pet stores and in aquariums. These are guppies, mollies fish and someone from the cichlids. Correct me in the comment if I got the name wrong. Having reached the so-called steps, we had a difficult climb up them to the house where our journey began. The ascent is of course is a completely different story than the descent, so we were pretty sweaty before we got to the top. We did not limit ourselves to just the waterfalls and decided to also visit the hot springs, which were located in the mountains of the city of Darwin, about 30 minutes drive from Dumaguete. The path to the springs begins high in the mountains and is paved with steps through a gorge. Wait, 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 wait. Where? It's from there. Holy shit. <laughs> I wanna have a heart attack. <laughs> I almost stepped on 
on it. You didn't. Almost. The, that's me who almost stepped on it, no. right? No. I think it was meant for me. Just a snake. And I feel like there's gonna be more. Don't worry. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna fall down this cliff here on the side. Maybe, maybe it was a lizard. The uniqueness of this place is that thanks to the volcanic activity occurring somewhere in the depths of these mountains, a hot stream flows from underground and connects with a cool mountain river. There used to be pools where you could relax and steam your bones in the hot volcanic water, which is rich in minerals and had healing effect. But after a big typhoon, the pools were destroyed. Therefore, now there is just a river, but in different places the temperature of the water flow is also different and varies from cool to boiling water. And at the base of the river there is a small waterfall. Up the road from the turn leading to the springs, there is a cafe with an observation deck where we watched the sunset with a cup of coffee. Besides hiking in the mountains, my new friend also likes freediving. For those who doesn't know, freediving is diving without equipment while holding your breath. She knows many interesting places for both hiking and diving around the city. And in another day, she invited me to dive in some interesting place around here. I've swam among the coral reef in the Philippines many times, but swimming here was really exciting and even a little scary. My friend told me that before it wasn't allowed to dive here. But now it's okay, so we just swim here from the side. Sometimes meet along the way sea urchins, sea stars and sea turtles. The underwater support columns of the old port majestically went into depths, at the same time being the basis for attaching corals to them. And they in turn attracted colorful tropical coral fish. And while my new friend was practicing in freediving, I hung like a float at the surface, looking at the underwater landscape from above. Thank you for watching this video. If it was interesting for you, just support me with your like, comment and subscription on my channel. Thank you.